Alright, um, today I'm just going to do a video on how we go about dissolving some of our plant growth regulators. Uh, these are fairly pure chemicals um, and they need to be dissolved using another chemical. Um, acids, bases or alcohols will do the job. Um, alcohol I tend to steer away from. It doesn't dissolve it as well as uh, the acids or bases do. Um, if you manage to get hold of some water soluble plant growth regulator just remember that um, that's a potassium um, based product and its purity will be way down maybe 40 60 percent so you have to add more of that chemical um, to make up the required um, percentage ppm that you want so this is a uh, benzyl purine it's 99 percent pure um, so to dissolve this, we need a chemical. It won't dissolve in water. Um, you can, like I said, you can use alcohol or a base or an acid. I've got a base here, which is um, potassium hypochlorite. Um, it is a reasonably nasty chemical. You've got to be careful. I'd recommend wearing uh, safety glasses and that when dissolving it. Um, so basically, what we've got here is uh, six grams of KOH or potassium hypochlorite. Now we simply add this to 100 mils of distilled water. I'm not going to go into it now, I'm sure you can do that. Um, dissolve it in the water, it dissolves pretty readily. Stir it and put it in a bottle now. I'm saying that it will dissolve glass um, over time. It doesn't do it instantly, but over time, if you've got um, this stored in a glass bottle, it will slightly dissolve it, so you need to be careful with that. Um, a good old plastic bottle and away you go. So what we've got is our benzyl purine that we're going to dissolve. So I've measured out already um, 100 milligrams and I'm going to dissolve it using our KOH. It's a simple. What I do is add a few drops and give it a stir. Depends on how much you've got in there, obviously how much you need to um, dissolve and simply just keep stirring it add a few more drops probably gone a little bit overboard there pretty much got it all into solution now um, if it's looking a tad milky I'll just add a few more drops of uh, KOH um, I don't know if you can see in there it's pretty much dissolved might just add another drop or two There we go, give it a good stir. Yep, pretty much dissolved. Really, you shouldn't see any uh, particles floating around in there. I know I've got one, but that'll dissolve very shortly. Just, uh, if you wish, let it sit for a while, and anything that's still in there may dissolve. If not, just come back, add another drop of uh, KOH, and there you go. Like I said, this is pretty um, nasty stuff. Make sure you're wearing glasses and gloves, as you can see I am. Skin coloured gloves. We're all dissolved there. Alright, so we've got our one gram of um, benzyl purine dissolved in there. Um, and the standard mixture is one um, milligram to one millilitre. Um, and all we do to achieve that is, obviously, we've dissolved our one milligram of uh, BAP. And now we'll add that to 100 mils of water and simply pour it into a container, top up to 100 mils, and there you have you one mil per milliliter. Oh, sorry, correction, one gram per milliliter. And that's the standard um, rate that I use in all my tissue culture, simply adding the required volume to the medium.